A pilot project in Emily hopes to showcase an environmentally friendly approach to mining an element for use in new technology, all while putting a premium on using local labor. Cameron Kramer has our story. Three to four hundred feet below the surface, a drill is working in Emily. It's not oil it's after, but manganese. Manganese is uh, mostly used for in the steel making industry. It makes steel hard. It's also the uh, an element of choice in the new and upcoming electric car batteries. The mining in Emily is a pilot project headed up by Crowing Power that hopes to determine if mining the element is cost effective. But even for the pilot project, the focus was on furthering local business. Foreign interests had money on the table, wanted to buy the land, and we said, no, if we can do this locally, the money will be all returned back to people here. The process to attain manganese is complex, and it all starts deep underground using a drill and water. Each one's delivering uh, 851 psi of pressure down to the wellhead. The high-powered water system is all controlled by computer and breaks apart the manganese so it can be transported to the surface. There's an indu inductor down there that's sucking the manganese and water and bring it back to the plant to get processed up here. Once it hits the plant, the processing begins, using multiple screens and other methods to separate the manganese from other objects in the soil. The end result is a simple conveyor belt ride to a large pile of manganese before the deposits head to a processing facility. As luck would have it, Emily has one of the highest concentrations of manganese in North America. In about five acres, you'll find 70% pure manganese, which is very unique. The entire process hopes to jumpstart the local economy and determine if the mining is viable as a full-scale operation. Cameron Kramer, Lakeland News. An environmental responsibility meeting will be held on Wednesday at the Emily City Hall to update the public on the progress of the mining.